na Masha. Yeah. That all of a sudden, it's the dynamic. This is gonna be death ball na ang tema ng Season 3 Champs. We'll see how they will push through. Rob Luna and Midnight take away the Game 1. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The first game ng ating series, S4 Champs versus Season 3 Champions. On to the blue side, we have the S4 Champs. JP, yung gagamit na Claude Kelby J on the Gushin Rafflesia as the show. Fusaka naman on the Atlas. And Renzo, Renzo will be on the thumb. Yes, and meanwhile naman dito sa ating Season 3 Champions, Lusty will be the one to use the X-Board. Jeff, QT wow. forever. Dito ang gagamit ng ating... Uh, Kaja, wait, may first blood tayo agad doon. Kilowash, pero mukhang may susunod pa. Mamaya na natin i-run down because Lusty going in. Dito kay Rafflesia, conclusive blast. Hindi na yata oh, i-rotag sa kapong siya with the trap at buhay pa doon si Lusty, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, Lusty God. Even though mamamatay si uh, Lusty rito, no, he has still done his job. Who's a Napatay niya yung Selena and this definitely haunts the early game of the Claude ngayon. Nanakawa na sila ni Rio at ni Kilowash ng blue buff. No? Fortunately for JP, malit na respond time niya. Sa kakabot sila dito, mapapatay si Kilowash. Nanak up from the show and they is, it will be a kill for the Claude. So, secured naman kahit na paano yung blue buff. No? Rio is still trying to get the steal oh, on the blue, blue buff. Arrow hit by Jay and ito makakatakbo ba tanong. JP, use the retribution pero hindi ina para mapatay yung blue buff and it is still gonna go towards the Lancelot Season 3. Oh, wow. Wow. Again, this is their play style. Definite aggression. Sabi nila, kung Claude lang yan, meron tayo Selena. Bakit natin kukunin yung blue buff natin? Kunin natin yung blue buff ng Claude. Totoo. Totoo. And what a game. I mean, what a play na pinakita. And actually, all about the arrows dito na pinapakita ni Jay. It's actually hitting, going inside dito. And Kel DJ will be the next casualty dito para sa side ng S4 champs. And... For this moment, midnight mukhang maganda yung facing dito specifically ng ating uh, ni Rio ng Lancelot. Sasabihin ko sana kanina, no, if this game was stable enough, kayang-kaya i-hold ng Season 4 Champions yung Season 3 Champions. Kasi you have you have a thumbs against the Masha, you have a show for whatever uh, whatever things that are gonna, gonna head towards the Claude, no, yung pressure masasalba niya Cho yan. And at the same time, meron kang uh, assassinate Dubo, meron kang Cho and the Gushon. Problem is, wala kang pangharang sa early game ng ano ng uh, Season 3 Champions. And this is what I like seeing come out from the Season 3 Champions squad. Ito talaga yung signature place nila. Walang hingahan, hindi ka bibigyan ng space niyan. Totoo. Uh, ang, ang ganda eh. No? I mean, pagkatapos nilang pumake-off dito, they would like to push dito. Pero at least medyo nakabawi doon yung Caesar. Four champ, uh, Caesar 4 champion getting kilowash pero hindi pa tapos dahil may nahatak pa doon dito si KL Kill BJ will actually go down mega kill na dito si Jay anong meron sa mga silina natin ngayon sa araw na to dahil yung mga pana laging tumatama Grabe, parang ako magsilina joke lang. Pero damang-dama ng season 4 champions yung Selina ni Jay no. Sabi niya, sabi nila dito, ano ba to? Feeling ko hindi natin pwede ano to eh no. Hindi natin pwedeng tanggalin sa roster eh. Hindi, hindi ano talaga. Selina, eh? oh, oh my goodness. The arrow hits. Renzo forced to use the vengeance. That's a very big timer no yung vengeance ni oh. ano ni Thanos. Essentially this make this makes the next team fight 5 versus 4. Etong etong Thanos si Renzo hindi malaking problema to. Yes, definitely. As sa ano din eh, may something different pero mamaya na natin pag-usapan niya dahil dito pasok naman season 4 chan will be going against pero Losty na lang dito yung pinalagan nila, hinapak pa balik pero hahabol pa sila dito. Rio going in. Ang sakit ng down ni Jeff Cutie forever will be down pero Rafli siya ang kapalit. 2 on 1 yung laban pero sa baba, Midnight Renzo na 1 on 1. Okay. Si Kilwash. Renzo, Aro, Jay dito mama pero dash the dash is there for the Selena to secure the kill. Medyo na paaga yung execute actually ni uh, Kilowash mm -hmm. and that's something na talagang hindi ka mananalo for the Masha no? pero I think he, he had the opportunity to take down the thumbs of Renzi unfortunately the damage wasn't enough Rio going into the middle lane JP forced to use the BMI out I think meron pang dash in si Rio at that specific moment pero sabi niya nakita niya yung show okay mamba uta tayo dito with uh, forced enough rotations to make another rotation and yun nga yung gagawin ni Rio no? bababa siya to secure the crab coin and tutulungan niya si Kilowash dito on securing this lane yes definitely at nahirapan din doon pero gaya nga na to hindi tayo humihinto dahil may sipang magaganap lastly dito matatagalan ng Firaga armor so may bandang likod habol dito ang mga season 4 charge pero nakapag flicker out makakatakas pa nga kaya but Kiel VJ will be securing the kill Jeff QT forever dito naghihintay lang ng mga kakampi si Jeff Rotating out on the top lane Sabi naman nila dito Let's push the bottom lane Bigyan natin dito The space Kilowash will be taking That bottom tower dito And Turtle ang kasunod Yeah Even though we're saying na Season 3 champions They're getting a lot of Momentums done Into the side of uh, Season 4 champs no? If the game is going stable Like the score is 6-7 And lamang lang Isang tore yung kalaban mo And at the same time Halos parehas yung pera nyo This is definitely In favor of the Season 4 champions mm. Again you have 
Aklod. And looking at the lineup of state champs here, there are not a lot of answers to the Claude Lake game, no? Kahit sabi mong yun ang pin-damage mo. And Kilowash actually mamamatay din naman on the bottom lane 0-4. They're really putting a lot of pressure on this guy. Pero on the other side of the map, Renzio was taken down as well. Actually, hindi. Dito rin pala, no? Napatay din si uh, Renzio ni uh, Jay with the arrow. Last, e, last insanity, grabe naman. Mapapatay niya rin si uh, Rafisha on the top lane. Yun lang nga dito midnight. Sobrang sakit. Ang laki ng difference no nung hindi nagkaroon ng purple buff si JP dong early stages ng laro. Grabe, 5 minutes pa lang tong laban na to. We are uh, 7 na yung score natin and look at even the net for 14,000. Well, kilowatch dito siya yung medyo nagiging giveaway para sa side dito na season 3 champion. Pero yeah. hindi natin makikakaila, Rio and Jay sila yung nagso-snowball at nagse-set ng tempo ng laro na to. May pasok mm. dito. Mapahabol, walang burst down. Babalik dito, kilo! Might actually go as well. Pero nakabawi with the execute! Nakita mo yung dodge ni Rio. Hinintay niya yung ano yung sword spike. Tapos nung kinombo na siya, tsaka siya nag second skill. And nakadodge pa ng isa with the ultimate. Pero nasipa siya dito, no, Rio. Na very tight. Buhay pa na! Is there? Naku po, buhay pa rin si Rio! Oh my goodness! Hinahabol siya ni Renzo dito, no? Alongside, roughly siya na siya. The dodge! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! The dodge is there. Retribution to slow the children. Ayaw mo matatay! Will there be a dodge? For the Rio, even more Naku po, roughly siya Hindi niya mahuhuli Blazing to it by JP Hinahabo niya si JD to The arrow is there But the kill will be secured Pero the story is Rio May arit, may asim pa Itong taong to Grabe sa asim Pero dito mga kaibigan Kaya VJ will be securing a kill dito Kay Jeff QT forever Pero ang story ng laro na yun Mula sa bottom lane Pumunta sa gitna Muntik na muntik pang makatakas Doon si Rio Oh my G Rio Grabe, feeling ko balik ka na ng MPL eh. Grabe yung pinapakita. Ang, ang dami niyang dinudge, man. Feeling ko sobrang lupit mang ghost na itong taong to. <laughs> Oo, oh, oh, yung alam mo yung bilis nung kamay. Alam mo yung dash na yun, medyo may, may mga proper timing yun eh. Pero oh. dito yung pagong yung magiging susunod na objective dito ng Season 4 champ. They're actually getting back dito sa laro na ito mga kaibigan. Parehas ang net worth 18,000 in terms of the gold. Pero habol na naman dito. Oh. Lusty dito, masyado pa rin naman makuna. Going into the middle lane. Pero si Kilowash, nag-feed na naman sa may bandang baba. Pero makakatakas pa nga kaya. Habol na naman sila dito sa gitna lasti inaapoy apoyan ang buong S4 champ po sa akin dito trying to get with the fatal links sabi niya kahit magkina ikaw na pero na patay na naman si Kel BJ sa baba kaya grabe in the middle lane di pa tapos yung laban no JP in a very tight spot will be able to use the BMI out pero susunod ba siya ni lasti dito no manggugulo lang yung X-Borg as Rio and again finds other rotation pero gusto ko lang pag-usapan no Kilowash 2v1ing against the Thumbs and the Gushin on bottom lane even though may tulo or J my goodness with the arrow kill secured by the Selena J pero mga katapuban mukhang hindi na as the knockup is there from the Cho pero grabe yung pinapakita ng S3 champs dito no Kilowash was able to take down the Thumbs 1v1 kahit wala siyang execute and yan yung kapangyarihan na maagang nagre-refresh yung kanyang charges Rafisha in the middle lane defending against 3 heroes pumasok si Kilowash to take down The Atlas and they will be able to secure the tower and the middle lane. Walang magawa si Kel BJ. This is the curse of your lineup. Si Claude lang yung primary damage show. Even though mapapatay nila si Kilowash dito, no? There's no reliable damage output that can come out from the S-Port champs aside from the Stamos. The Vengeance is there. Makakasurvive siya against the Lancelot. Pero nararamdaman nila yung sakit ng lineup ng S3 champs. Yun talaga yung story ng laro. And somehow dito, Kilowash, nakakabalik siya sa laro. And getting a good kills then as well dito kay Kiel VJ. Now, we're talking about dito in, the, in terms of the late game na possible na pumabor dito for the season 4. Since meron silang Claude, meron silang uh, uh, Gushon. Pero kung makikita natin yung burst potential din ng season 3, given na may damage pare pa, I mean, they have two cores. And even J, which is technically dapat ay support, eh nagkakaroon din ng damage. Yeah. Uh, I don't understand no, the item of Renzio. Meron siyang cursed helmet dito, no? Uh, gets ko naman against kay Kilowash, pero against oh. the overall lineup of S3 champs, I think it would have been better if he went for the blood as at first. Kasi, ganun pa rin naman, nakapag 1v1 pa rin siya kay Kilowash, pero yun, usapang Kilowash, napatay si Kilowash dito. Oh. The no. X-Borg na burst on siya ni Kel BJ, and that's two heroes on the side of S3 champs. And they're now forced to defend the middle lane. There's also Blazing Do It pa on JP, pero the Lord is gonna be the next objective. J with the arrow, it hits Rafisha, pero ang daming pangharang dito ng S4 champs. Tatayuan sila nila Rafisha dito no, as the uh, Claude tries take the Lord down, si Rio medyo malayo. So S3 oh. champs, they're not in the position to contest this Lord anymore. Oo, oh, kailangan nilang ibigay yung Lord na yun kasi uh, ano lang eh, magiging collateral damage lang sila if ever they try to steal it. Saka medyo malayo. Ang ganda rin ang positioning doon ni Kel Vijay na alam niya na pwede or anytime pwede pumunta doon si Rio. Now, yeah. in terms of defense dito, I think 
Season 3 will be able to pull this off pa rin naman. Pwede silang humatak kaagad ng isang valuable target. Yeah. And di ba, katulad ni JP, which is, or even si... Uh, Ren- ang ano, ang catch lang pala dito, no, sa dalawang core ng Season 4 is that they don't have like a purify na pwedeng pang negate dito. So anything na mga crowd control, pwedeng, pwedeng pumasok sa kanila. So... Yeah. What, what, what do you think dito, Midday? Paano pa, 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 pa napapasok dito? It's all, uh, para sa akin, I think yung pag-zone out ni Fuzakin eh. Yung mm-hmm. medyo nahihirapan dito yung side ng Season 3 champs. Yeah, kasi may threat pa rin. May threat pa rin na mga ulti and stella. Remember, there are four uh, heroes on the side of S3 champs that are melee, no? Tatlong, ay, apat na melee heroes na kapag binikitan ni Atlas, talagang matatakot ka. Kahit pa sabihin natin Lancelot ka, uh-huh. kahit sabihin natin nga uh, Xburg ka, matatakot ka. Kasi mind you, my Claude, no? Once na mag... Ma- Ma crowd control kayo ni Fuzaken. There is a lot of damage that can come out from JP. On the bottom lane, the Lord is already pushing into the base of S3 champs. The, the punish is very nice from the S3 champs. Topper Jeff Curie forever. Mama Matay Sharito. Nakapasok na rin si Renzio. The Lord is still alive. Rafisha is taking a turret down. Oh, Mama Matay, the vengeance is there. Nagpro yung uh, Halbert ni Rio dito no, to make himself alive. Pero to JP hindi tatamaan ng arrow. But that's a 2 for two, 2 for 2 exchange in favor of S4 champs as they take down the third on the bottom lane. Dagdag mo na yung middle lane, tinamanang arrow, si Claude dito. Ayun yung middle lane, Jay with the flicker in, mamamatay ba? That is the question. Jay! And Jay, mapapatay ni Gushin dito. Kelby Jay with a fast reflex to help his teammates. Totoo yan, totoo yan. I really like to comment do, yung uh, sinabi mo in terms kay Fuzakin. Kasi yung mga, hi- yung mga damage dealers kasi dito ng Season 3 Champions, mga kaibigan, e eh, panay melee. So ngayon, hindi mahirap yung fatal links dito ni Fuzakin dahil kahit uh-huh. anong gawin, automatic, didikit at didikit sila dito sa, ma- sa Season 4 Champions. Yeah, and again, ito yung sinasabi natin eh. If the game goes, oh my god, ayun na, isinasabi natin. Hey, hey. From the Atlas na huli, if you know that's Jeff Curie forever, remember that's the only crowd control that they have against this Claude. So, 30 seconds, walang kaja, walang huhuli kay JP dito, no? Unless mangat-ngat siya ni, uh, ni Kilowash habang tinamaan siya ng pana. Pero there's no reliable way of controlling JP down. Yes. And somehow dito yung spike na pinakita. Pero mamaya, ano yan? Hapol sila dito. Mukhang uh, abante. Yata yung season 3. So, may bantal likod. Kilowash will be taken down. Vito, last insanity. Pero walang tatamaan. Lusty. Now, one band down. Or actually, dalawa. Dahil hindi pa rin naman bahay dito. Si Jeff Beauty forever. Bukutasin na nila yung gita. Dito, zinon out nila in terms of the blazing duet. Mukhang oh, mabubaksag na nga. Pasok sila dito. Mukhang tower or base lock na to. Midnight. Ang sakit. Ang sakit ang damage ni JP dito. Nung no? nakita mo kakad yung HP bar ni Lusty. And again, ang ganda ng play kanina, no? Using the blazing duet to zone out. Yes, he jumps down, 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 and that is gonna be the end with a very nice highlight from the S4 champions. Fuzaken is back, baby. Fuzaken is really, really back, mga kaibigan. With that Atlas play, hindi siya natin masyado nami-mention dahil sobrang ganda ng mga cheeky plays ng mga assassin. Pero ang para sa akin ng MVP dito sa laro na to, they're definitely gonna be Fuzaken. Yeah. Grabe din yung ano yung uh, pang zone out niya talaga no. Every single time hindi siya takot mag-commit ng ultimate. Nakita natin yung kanina no, ginangat-ngat siya ni uh, Kilowash nung dumating na sa vicinity si Gu 